ウェポンショップでおまっせい。Hey gang, Jack Alaire here. That's right, and we are taking a look at a 3DS game. It came out today, and it is、uh, from level 5. It is called Weapon Shop de Omase, and I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. And it starts out with this beautiful fake computer sequence, and、uh, just wanted you to see some of this.、Uh, it does have kind of a quirky intro. I'll go ahead and、uh, skip ahead a little bit. We'll get into the game so that I don't ruin this for you when you fire it up on your own 3DS. All right, let me start out by telling you that the music in this game you're either going to really love or you're going to really hate because it has a style that is all its own, just kind of out there in its own little world. And I, I love it personally. So the basic plot revolves around this、uh, there's the blacksmith and us, the apprentice. We are the apprentice to him, and we've talked him into renting out his weapons instead of selling them how we would normally. And here comes our first adventure. And there, it, it's treated very much like a sitcom in that people, you get applause, you get laughter, things like that. But the main thing is that you decide whether you want to rent your,、uh, your weapons to the adventurers that come along. And that depends on many things,、uh, what, they're, what they're more trained in, what quest they're going after. And he explains this along the way. And then basically, they'll request a weapon. If you have it, you can just hand it to them.、Uh, otherwise, what you need to do is you need to actually make it, which is the second part of the game. So, once the adventurer has come in, requested a weapon, you go to this game, which is the actual making the weapon part. Now, the smith hammers out a beat, and you've got to hammer out the beat too. You also have to cut it down to the right size to show what's going on. And the better you do in this game, the better weapon you make. The, and the longer the chain, the more that affects one aspect of it. The least you hit it, it affects another. The gauge that's at the bottom is also counting down the heat. So the less coal you have to use, which is the number in the upper left hand corner, means that you get more durability. Now, in order to keep track of your weapons, each one is equipped with a grind caster. And that means that while they are out, they basically have this grind cast, which is kind of like a twi weird Twitter feed, to where you can track the NPCs while they're out on their quest. Now, it also shows what monsters they're attacking, how much damage they're doing,、uh, the normal things that you would see in a normal RPG, but it's all taking place here. Now, you can actually go into grind cast. And watch it happen as it's happening, or you can just let the little、uh, pop ups show up in the, the top screen kind of as they're happening. Now, you're not always going to be making weapons. Sometimes you won't either have a need to or you'll just、uh, want to do some other stuff. You can also polish weapons. Every time they come back, you can polish them、uh, just to get a little bit of a, uh, more of a kick out of them. And essentially, it works just like it did when you were polishing your badges in Pokemon.、Uh, you take a look at both sides.、Uh, you essentially take your stylus, you rub to clean them, just like this. And then, when both sides are polished,、uh, you just take it and then put it back in your stock.
Tikta! Well, gang, there you have it. That's my review of Weapon Shop de Omase. Uh, once again, pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. I have been playing it uh, on and off all day, and the characters do get <laughs> weirder and weirder. Uh, you'll get some repeat customers, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, I do recommend, if you like the games like uh, Reseteer and Dungeon Village, I think is one that I played on Android, this is one along those lines, and it's a lot of fun. It is $7.99 on the eShop as of today, February 20th, 2014. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!